What's up everybody, Lego Gabe here, back with another Spin Jitsu video. Last time at the Spin Jitsu round, or last wave, we had eight different characters, and the winner was the DJ from the Lego Season, or Lego Minifigure Series Season 10, or Series 10, I believe. But today, we got, we're gonna have some new competitors, so, not to brag, but <laughs> that's my, um, most of my minifigures, I still got just a couple, just a couple, but I still got a couple um, around the place. So I'm going to randomly draw some figures, we need eight of them, to compete. First one is, oh, okay, we got, we got this guy, this is, um, this is one of the, 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 the one, of, one of the dudes from Lego Ninjago Season 13. I should know this, I'm a, like a Ninjago nerd. No, Season 12, so uh, Prime Empire, these were the... Red, uh, I'll, the name will come back later. <laughs> Alright, so we got one of those guys. And, by the way, I'm not looking at the box. We got a, <laughs> a creeper. Um, I don't, I don't think this creeper is gonna, gonna fit. I mean, I could probably get it to, oh, I can get it to stand on the studs. That works, but it doesn't reach out and do anything, so it's just going to have defenses. Okay, I just took a quick break to dust those. Alright, now on to the next minifigures. We need six more. We got... Oh my goodness, we got Axel from LEGO Next Nights. This is Ultimate Axel. He hasn't been reviewed on the channel yet. Actually, pretty soon up on the schedule is Ultimate Aaron. And he should be interesting. Let's see. I know Axel fits because he has minifigure legs. I just don't know how he'll do on the spinners. Oh, yeah. He's he's top heavy. He slows down very quickly. Oh, might have to fix that up somehow with some modification. Let's go on to the next figures. Let's go in the back over here. We got... Oh, Miriam from Indiana Jones. Oh, that's going to be interesting seeing how she uses that little frying pan as a weapon. Next up, in the back here, we got an Outrider from Lego Marvel Avengers, Avengers Infinity War. Another out, no, I'm not gonna do another Outrider. One's good enough. We got, oh, Falcon! Oh, I don't know how that's gonna work. He. I don't think he'll be able to fit his wings in there. He doesn't have any weapons. So he's going to have to go up against someone that has weapons. Um, two more. We got... Oh, J. Tournament of Elements J. Oh, he was actually... Um, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, back then I had a stop motion series, series where I did um, battles and there was only one episode with... Scarlet Witch versus Garmadon. Speaking of, here's Scarlet Witch. Uh, she almost died there, got stabbed with a spear. And then the next episode is supposed to be Tournament of Elements J versus Age of Ultron Hulk. And you guys have seen both of these in reviews. And um, I don't know if I'll ever get that stop motion video out. I didn't make it yet, but I definitely should in the future. And we need one more. Our last figure is going to be... Oh, Cairo, um, Cairo Thug from the same set that Miriam came from. That's going to be interesting. They're both from Indiana Jones, so we got, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm back. We got all these figures uh, modified and ready for battle. So starting with Falcon. Uh, I couldn't get his wings on. Or, well, I could, but um, he wouldn't work with the wings because they would be too big and he would fall off I mean he would just fly off literally he would go flying and so I took off his main wing jet and I took off the wings and the uh, boosters or whatever the flames the exhaust and I stuck one of these uh, little handheld pieces there and now he can use his wing pack as a shield so that's gonna be good we know how defenses work and we know how they're like the best the Outrider literally has nothing oh I forgot to test him with his arms on Oof. Well, that's going to that's gonna be some trial and error. We'll figure that out. Uh, this guy, I remembered his name, Red Visor. He works pretty well. He spins pretty fast and hard. Uh, I just tested him. I had to take off his uh, 
his life count up above him so that way he would spin faster without falling off like Kai did last wave. And then the Cairo uh, uh, thug, the Cairo thug, uh, he's going up against this guy because he doesn't have a long range weapon. His weapon is very short and it doesn't reach out very far. So we got Falcon versus the Outrider. I don't know how that's going to work because they both have short weapons. Uh, he's got a long one and he's got a short one. So those are matched up pretty well. Um, Jay and Miriam. We got Miriam with her little... Oh, Miriam with her little frying pan up here. So uh, I'll, put, I'll put links to all the set reviews for these uh, figures in the card system. I finally figured out how to do those. And in the description below if you want to see... Where those, uh, if you want to see the reviews for those figures, and then we got Jay here. He's got his very long jade blade, and length doesn't really work as well. It makes you lose more against those that have defenses. And so, since he's going up against Miriam, she has a small defense. So we'll see how that works out. Axel, I had to get rid of his big body because he didn't spin very well, as we saw. And I replaced him with a snow speeder or an no, X-wing pilot body, just because it was the closest color I had that wasn't a girl uh, torso. I had Skylar's torso, and that was about it. But he's got his massive shield here and his axe, so he's going to be a very good defensive player. But I'm putting him against up against a creeper because the creeper has no weapons, but the creeper also has defenses, and so he can whack him with his axe. I haven't done a review for. Uh, axle yet, but once I do I'll link that as well. So for Spinjitsu spinners, they're the same ones from that old uh, Set that I reviewed recently or re recently a while ago and then for last wave we had the flame pit which was uh, It was like a card and it looked like a pit of flames and whenever they would land on it They'd get out like they'd be falling in and so here we have this wave we have um, this is like a Spinjitsu Burst? No, it's not Spinjitzu Burst. It's like, I forgot what it was, but I haven't reviewed those sets yet. I have one for Jay and one for Lloyd, but once I do, uh, you'll see them. And so this, if you just uh, punch on here, they start spinning. And we got blades here. We got two deadly blades. And so those will go into the arena in place of the fire pit because I don't want to get that out. Or not, not that I want to get out, but I'd like to have something different. So up first, we got Falcon versus the Outrider, which are two Avengers, or no, an Avenger versus an Avenger enemy. So let's see how this goes. I bet you they both have defenses. The Outrider has his arms, and then Falcon has his massive shield. So we'll just see how this works, and if it doesn't, then we'll send out the we'll send out the spikes. Three, two, one, go, go. Oh. That. <laughs> that was not what I expected. They both immediately got out, so that's going to have to be a rematch right there. Uh, instead of, we're not doing two, best two out of three, that's for like the finals. And so, let's finish that. Let's try this again. Oh, Falcon stopped. His shield stopped him. Oh, there goes Falcon. <laughs> that was... Not what I was expecting at so all. So Falcon immediately lost to the Outrider, so that's gonna be it's gonna be bad on his Avengers resume. <laughs> Next up we have the Red Visor versus the Cairo Thug. We got the Cairo Thug and we got the Red Visor on their matching colors. So this should be good. And go. Oh they got oh they got close there. The red visor looks like he's got a pretty good tornado going on. Oh there those are some good hits. Red Visor's got lots of range with his uh, his gun there, his blaster. I need to fix that real quick. Maybe if I can get the gun out like that. Oh, there he goes. Hold on. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Hold on. That doesn't count. Wait, let me fix it. Hold on. Doesn't count at all. Respin. Oh! Okay, respin. Right, there they go. They can push, they can push the arena off the edge and fall off the thing. That is allowed if they can figure out how to do it. Then again, they're not living things. They're just Legos. <laughs> they're just pieces of plastic that I make a living off of on the internet. 
All right, we're going for another respin. Oh, oh gosh, he got slowed down quick. Maybe he needs a faster spin or longer range. Actually, we can take out one of his swords. It is one of his weapons, and he is allowed to use it. No one said he's not. So let's try now. This might go for an interesting play if he can actually hit someone with it. Oh, he's getting close. Oh, no. Oh, there he's slowing down. No. Faster. Maybe he's got to be... Wait, oh, his visor's coming off. Maybe he's got to be a ninja. Ninja! Go! This guy doesn't even have his club out. I bet you the visor's gonna... Oh, there he goes! Finally, I knew it. So that's gonna be an L for the red visor. He's pretty angry. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it's the defenses. It's You gotta have shields and stuff like that. But next up, we got Miriam and... Uh, Tournament of Elements, right, Jay. So Jay has his very long weapon, which makes him very vulnerable. And Miriam has her defenses up, but they're pretty small, so it might not make Jay that vulnerable. He'll still be able to hit Miriam, like, from here and knock her off. But, let's see if he can... Wait a minute, this is... Hold on, no, you got... we got to switch. This is Jay's thing. He can't be going on... Yeah. Oh my gosh, just a big green tornado spinning around. <laughs> Oh, you guys can definitely see that on the camera because of the blur. That's going fast. You can see it better on camera than on the than in real life. Holy cow. They're not touching anything. They're not. Oh, they're coming close. Oh, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. There goes Jay. Jay is out. That means Miriam is moving up into next round. And then next up, we got Ultimate Axel here. He heal and a Creeper. And now, I yeah. wonder how this is gonna work with the creeper on like this. And Axel's definitely probably gonna win 100% because I can already tell. I think I spun him the wrong way. He's gonna hit with the back of his axe and the front. But. Oh, wait, oh, wait. No, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. They have to get knocked off by obstacles or by the other, the other players. Okay, respin. We do the creeper first, then Axel. The hands for the for the X-wing pilot that I have them on are pretty loose, so they're not doing too well. You know, we're gonna we're gonna need to respin again. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> this is not going too well. It's definitely the the hands making him slow down because he's dropping the axe and it's hitting the ground or the floor. And we're throwing. That didn't work. Come on, we gotta get, we gotta get someone out. Why is it? All right, I'm taking off the shield. Well, you can keep the axe. Let's see if he works now. Creeper. Oh my gosh! The creeper beat Axel. He's wearing like, let's think of his armor uh, Minecraft wise. It's orange armor, but it's big and beefy, so it's like dyed netherite armor. I wish that was a thing. That would be very cool. And he got died by a creep. Well, you saw it here, folks. If you have creeper problems in Minecraft, do not call the Nexo Knights. Because if Axel was, like, the strongest knight, he then the other ones wouldn't do too well. So, yeah, creeper is moving on to the next round. Next up, we have the Outrider and the Cairo Thug. I don't know how well this is going to go because they both have short-range weapons. Thinking of it... All these players won because he doesn't have weapons, he has a short weapon, she has a short weapon, he doesn't have weapons. This is going to be trouble, troublesome trying to get them to win. I might have to break out the flame pit. Okay, I got the flame pit back, I'm going to put it in. It's closed right now, and then when they're, when they're done off and spinning, then it'll be open. Okay, flame pit's open. Anyone who gets on the card physically is dead. They are not coming close at all. Mm, I might need to throw in some more competition there. Just some more blades to act as ob uh, uh, obstacles. Oh, he didn't even get in the arena. He will not even human. Oh, they're, oh, that one actually jumped up onto this guy and bounced off of him. So the blades actually can be quite useful. Flame pit's still open. Like close in the first place. 
throw in the blade. <laughs> Their blades are not working at all. They're getting close. They're roughing and toughing it up, but they're not doing anything, any damage. They're both pretty weak. All right, moving the flame pit over here because they seem to like this corner. And flame pit's now open. Forgot to mention that I closed it. I did that a lot in the last video. Oh, oh! Mmm, he didn't touch the card. I mean, he did, but he didn't get on the card physically. He's touching the card so much. Maybe it's because it's not flat enough. Maybe if it was flatter, it would... No. Alright. Respin. Respin. Oh, oh, oh! He's moving the flame pit! Are we gonna count that as a loss, folks? I mean, technically, it's a pit in the ground. You can't really push it. I'm gonna count that as a loss. See ya, Outrider. Gosh, these spinners hold on tight. What? Well, you saw it. The, these guys did not fight very well because they both have defenses. They don't have weapons. So, uh, but the Cairo Sword, or not Sword, and the Cairo Thug won. So he's moving up. Next up, we have Miriam versus the Creeper. That's probably gonna be the same as the other two. Creeper and Miriam are up. Thrown in the flame pit. It's closed right now. And gives him a spin. Oh gosh, Creeper went at it. Oh, he's angry. Oh gosh, that was one very hostile creeper. And I've seen friendlier creepers than that. Oh my gosh. They, I mean, didn't get any damage done whatsoever. But they did lots of smacking and lots of bopping. Maybe if the creeper had like a weapon or something for Well, they're both down. Go, do it again. That creeper is very aggressive with his spinning. Oh, he almost fell over there. Look at him go! <laughs> that creeper's not having it. Oh my goodness. You need to spin, my guy. They are... <laughs> this, <laughs> this is terrible to watch. Oh my gosh. They have no weapons and this is not doing too well. They're not touching the flame... They're not getting on the flame pit. And it's just making my video longer than it needs to be. Okay. There we go. And pff, Creeper just deflected the blade like nothing. Oh, they're so close to the flame pit. Oh, Miriam bounced that Creeper out. Oh, but she's touching the flame pit. Is that going to count? Are we counting that, boys? She pushed it an inch. I'm going to flip a coin. I'm going to flip a coin. I have... I don't have, <laughs> I grabbed the closest coin, I got a Canadian coin, I do live in America, I don't know why I have this, uh, we got heads and tails, tails, okay, that's gonna be not counted, so we're going again, <laughs> I forgot to call out what they were, but, uh, creepers pushing the, uh, <laughs> they're both <laughs> pushing the flame pit, hmm, Okay, yeah, I'm going to say that's the creeper out because Mary, because the flame pit was here and creep or Miriam was pushing the creeper and it was put and it was pushing that and wait. Is her name Miriam or Marion? Hold on, I'm going to have a look at that. I'll be right back. Oh gosh, I just looked it up. I apologize all Indiana Jones fans out there, but her name is Marion. Marion Ravenwood, not Miriam. There's a diff there's a big difference in how you pronounce those, so I don't goof. Creeper has lost because Marion, I said it right this time, pushed the creeper into the flame pit because the creeper was pushing the card. And so Marion is gonna be moving on to the finals. So now it's gonna be, it's gonna be Marion versus the Cairo Thug. All of you who have seen Raiders of the Lost Ark, you should know that did not go too well. <laughs> she got kidnapped by the thugs. So, let's see if she can make a comeback and get some revenge. But before that, we're going to go with the Outrider versus the Creeper. And see, and they're going to do best two out of three for uh, third place. Because neither the Creeper, or because the Creeper and the Outrider don't have any weapons, I've modified the Creeper, put a little one by one modified clip there, and gave him a katana, as well as the Outrider also gave him a katana, so now... The odds are even. So now, I think the Creeper might win because of his placement. He's not going to fall off because of his studs stuck on there. 
Whereas this guy has a more likely chance to fall off. But let's just see how this goes. We're gonna, I'm gonna spin, not putting the flame pit in because. Oh gosh! Oh my! <laughs> what? That was. That was. Okay. The creeper lost his sword instantly, but that didn't stop him because the outrider smacked him. But since he's firmly stuck on there with his studs, it knocked the outrider off. And I think that's not really fair. But I'll give the creeper that win. But I'm going to put the creeper on loosely. So if you guys can see, I'm not going to push it in all the way. Instead, I'm just going to have it on just a little bit. So that way you can still get knocked off. So that way it's fair. But the creeper still gets that win just because I say so because I'm a lawyer. It's okay. I'm a lawyer. Don't worry, guys. And we're gonna give him another spit. <laughs> okay, never mind. He was not too secure. Maybe he needs to be a little more secure. Okay, that should be good. And they're off. Let's see which one wins. It's best two out of three. Ooh, he's got better odds now. The creeper almost lost his sword. Oh, there goes the sword. And that doesn't count. I spun him. If they fall off during the spin, that doesn't count. Those are the rules. The Outrider's spinning his blade backwards. Oh, there he goes! The Creeper was too much for the Outrider. Oh, maybe that's what the Avengers need. Maybe that's how they win Infinity War. Or that maybe that's how they should have won Infinity War. Just bring a bunch of Creepers. Well, the Creeper has one third place. It's, uh, it's surprising he actually got beat, though, because the Creeper is pretty powerful in the Spin Jitsu Battle Arena. But next up, we have... Marion Ravenwood versus the Cairo Thug. I'm gonna modify their weapons to give them something a little so, better. So, for the Thug, I lit his torch on fire, so now it's longer. Now he's got the fire piece. This isn't the actual torch piece. I use this um, candle here. Or not candle, the carrot piece as a torch. And Marion melted down her frying pan into a uh, scimitar blade. So. Let's see how this goes. This should do fairly better now they have longer weapons. And go. Oh, the, she got very close to him. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, them weak legs. He's got very wiggly legs. They are very old. You can tell because of how old this guy is. He's got like teeth marks in the legs, cracks in the back. Very old minifigures. Now for round two. If Marion wins this one, she takes home the trophy, which I don't have, but... Yeah, and then if the Cairo Thug wins, then they're going to go on for a third round. So, uh, yeah, let's see. I wonder if Marion will win. Oh, there goes his weapon. Oh, he just lost his, his torch over here, his fire. Now he's just got that club again, except it's a telescope piece now instead of a carrot. <laughs> and so Marion is slowing down from all the hits, but he is getting, he's faster. She's going to need a respin. Oh, wait, no. Doesn't count. If they spin during, uh, if they fall off during spin, it doesn't count. And respin for you, my guy. Uh, they're so they're not they're not close enough. Maybe I should throw in some. Oh, there goes Marion. Oh, he actually has a chance now. Oh gosh. They are now tied one to one. Let me. All right. Uh, <laughs> whoever you think, um, place your bets on whoever you think is gonna win. Let me know in the comments if. Whoever you guessed got far. <laughs> Alright, they're going on for- Oh, there goes his weapon again. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. Oh, her blade fell down. They're not doing- Oh, she's still be She's still hitting the spinner, but she's not hitting the thug. We should come up with a name for him. How about- Um. On, what, what do we name him? We'll name him- Gary. Gary the thug. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Marion's going in against Gary with her giant scimitar. He does not have his blade or his fire, but he does have his torch, so he might be able to block incoming attacks with it. Oh, they're pretty far. They're slowing down. I'm gonna get a re Oh, there he goes. Hold on. Okay, they're both rebuilt. This is the last spin. Not the last spin, but last battle. Whoever wins wins it all wins this wave oh 
she dealt Marion dealt quite a lot of damage to Gary over here. Spun him around quite a bit. He's gonna need a respin. Marion's slowing down, but Gary's coming in hot. Oh, his torch is touching the ground. He's not gonna be able to get any hits on or hits in. All right, they're gonna need a respin. Uh, lifting up his torch a little bit and go and go. Oh, there goes Marion. Oh God. Well, looks like the events from from Raiders of the Lost Ark have taken place again. Marion was beaten by the Cairo Thugs again. So let's see, Marion. What do you have to say about that? Mhm. Mm okay. Well, um, sorry for your loss in the game, but Cairo Gary, Gary the Cairo Thug. What do you have to say for your win here? Ah, interesting, interesting. Well, very nice technique. But we have our winner now. We got uh, this. Uh, the <laughs> uh, Gary has taken first place. Marion has taken second. And the Creeper has taken third. So the Creeper and Marion will not be participating again. But uh, Gary definitely will. He will be back in the future once all. Uh, how many rounds? Gary, be, Gary will be back for the finale of the entire Spinjitzu battles after Wave 16. This is only Wave 2. I actually got it in one episode now, so that's pretty good. But um, he's uh, he's got a long while to wait. But thank you all for watching. Uh, it, let me know in the comments if whoever you voted for, let me know how long they made it in and if you're guesses were right and make sure to leave a com uh, I already said leave <laughs> make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more uh spinjitsu videos let me know that you guys like this type of content other than just reviews and um uh see you guys in the next one bye